safety devices. Internal sunroof. The bus has two sunroofs with ventilators. The sunroof is usually pushed up to work as an air vent. In an emergency, open the cover and adjust the red wrench to the push position. Then push it up to open the sunroof. Attention! Do not operate the red wrench in a non-emergency situation. Safety hammer. In an emergency, smash the four corners and edges of side windows with the safety hammer, which is located on top of the side window pillars, and then push out the window for escape. Attention! Check the safety hammer before driving to ensure it is mounted in the right position. The glass for side window, rear windshield, and passenger door is generally toughened glass which can be smashed by safety hammer. That for the front windshield is laminated glass, which can be smashed, but it's difficult to break into pieces. Fire extinguisher. Remove the fire extinguisher. Pull off the safety ring at the end of handle, and the lead seal on the other end of safety ring will fall off. Hold the middle of fire extinguisher handle with your left hand. Stand at the upwind position when using the fire extinguisher. Point the nozzle against the place where the fire burns most fiercely, fire source point of non flame area, and press the handle. The fire extinguishing agent will be sprayed to extinguish the fire. Pick up the fire extinguisher, spray towards the bottom of the flame, and push forward quickly until the flame is extinguished completely. Fire extinguisher maintenance. When the indicator is pointing to the green area, the fire extinguisher is in good operating condition. Attention. The disadvantage of dry powder fire extinguisher is that the power peaks easily. Therefore, make sure to check whether the powder has caked up and CO2 gas in air reservoir has leaked every six months. Automatic fire extinguisher switch. The first firing control button of automatic fire extinguisher is mounted on the dashboard. When a fire breaks out, open the bottom box cover, press hard to crush the red button, and ignite the dry powder automatic fire extinguisher. The automatic fire extinguisher can also adopt a heat-sensitive automatic starting mode. When the engine compartment temperature is higher than 170 degrees centigrade, the heat-sensitive device will work and turn on the fire extinguisher automatically. Attention! When the battery main switch is turned on, the red light of control button will be on. If the button does not come on, it means the button has failed. Please check the effective pressure of automatic fire extinguisher and the tightness of the fasteners regularly. The fire extinguishing bomb is valid for 4 years, while the heat sensitive device should be replaced every two years.